In this video, we demonstrate the vehicle disassembly and TRNS installation for select Subaru vehicles. The vehicle used in this demonstration is a Subaru Crosstrek and is similar to all supported vehicles. Turn on the vehicle's engine in order to be able to freely rotate the steering wheel. Unscrew the screws behind the steering wheel and remove the screws. Use the pry tool to unsnap the lower steering wheel column cover. Remove the white 8-pin connector from the ignition switch and plug the T-harness in line. Connect the grounding ring to the vehicle's chassis using any metal screw. Next, locate the vehicle's fuse box under the driver's side dash. In order to access the required connectors, remove the white and brown connectors. Remove the white 40-pin connector located on the back of the fuse box and plug the T-harness in line. For the remainder of the T-harness installation, there are two possible methods of installation. We will now demonstrate how to determine the correct installation for your vehicle. Locate the 20-pin gray connector on the back of the fuse box. Look for a blue and white wire at pin number 14. If this pin is populated, continue with installation type 1. Most US vehicles will use installation type 1. If pin number 14 is unpopulated, skip to installation type 2. Installation Type 1 For this method of installation, only the immobilizer T-harness will be used. The immobilizer cable will not be used. Remove the gray 20-pin connector located on the back of the fuse box and plug the T-harness in line. This is the same gray connector referenced earlier in the installation. Plug the immobilizer T-harness into the black connector on the main T-harness. Installation Type 1 is now complete. Please refer to the guide for programming instructions. Use the provided zip ties to secure the module. Installation Type 2 For this method of installation, only the immobilizer cable will be used. The immobilizer T-harness will not be used. Locate the 84-pin junction connector behind the fuse box. Carefully remove the junction connector by pushing up on the gray lever. Remove the plastic cover by pushing in on the tabs. Locate the red and white wire at pin number 36. Cut the red and white wire in the middle and strip back the wire jacket. Connect the yellow wire to the red and white wire from the vehicle side. Connect the red wire to the red and white wire from the connector side. Cover the exposed wire with electrical tape. Plug the immobilizer cable into the black connector on the main T-harness. Installation Type 2 is now complete. Please refer to the guide for programming instructions. Use the provided zip ties to secure the module.